Hello there, I'm of course John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan, and we're going to do another edition of the Ghost Riders Report. Now, Miss Universe Japan has recently um, sparked a bit of a controversy, quite interesting one, because this year's winner is someone who is known as a Hafu in Japan, which to put that into English terms means someone of mixed ethnic background. She uh, is part Japanese, part black. Now you would imagine this wouldn't be a big problem. She was born in Japan, speaks Japanese, her characteristics and, and general demeanor is Japanese. And she even has a, a degree in calligraphy, <laughs> the beat it all, and she's quite good at it. But she has not been welcomed with open arms in Japan as much as you would think she would. There's been lots of comments said about her, everywhere from people saying, um, but she doesn't look Japanese. Why is she Miss Universe Japan? Why is she representing our country? So everything is more open to say, well, I'm not comfortable with someone who looks like she does representing Japan. So we'll overlook the issue of uh, beauty pageants in general being just a celebration of objectification of women because this, her winning this competition has brought up an issue in Japan that is not really talked about. It's got a lot of international attention to it. Uh, this general connection in Japan they have between race and nationality. This goes all the way back to the imperial days of state Shinto and all that to where you know to be Japanese must mean you must be genetically and ethnically Japanese 100 percent pure and if you're not despite if you were born here grew up here uh, you were conditioned to the culture for all intents and purposes you are Japanese but if you don't look Japanese enough you're never really considered to be Japanese or from Japan. So it's really a weird thing that I think a lot of countries would really find odd to be going on in their country. But you have to remember Japan, Japan's history of immigration is quite limited. Only about 1% of the population are actually foreign born. You know. But this woman is not. You know, so it's highlighted the, the stupidity and the ignorance of connecting race or ethnic background to nationality and showing just how it creates more problems than it does solve. Because in Japan, we have a population crisis, you know, where people are not having children for a lot of reasons, most of it is economic. And it keeps creating this problem, you know, a shortage in the labor force, which is eventually going to break the economy. You don't, if you don't even have workers, you can't even operate even capitalism if you don't have enough people to show up to do the job. So we have more people being born in Japan who are ethnically diverse. The number has increased every year for quite some time now. But when someone like a Hafu is given international exposure, and put on the na even the national stage in Japan, despite the necessity for this to go on, immigration, to see more ethnically diverse people, for just to keep the nation going. Despite that, still, this strong connection between ethnic identity and nationality rears its ugly head in Japan. And it really is not going to work. You know, it's not sustainable. You can't say you have to look Japanese to be Japanese. You're going to exclude too many people, eventually, over time. And you're going to end up, you know, breaking the economy, which is going to happen anyways, and creating a, such a rift in society that you're going to create even more problems than you think you're fixing by saying you have to look Japanese to be Japanese and to be from Japan and be fully accepted. So yeah, so she is turning lots of heads. And I think it's interesting, good, and healthy. Now, what's to finish up my last point, what is a bit even ironic here, 
is that she's getting a lot of international attention, right? International media and press are when to interview her and talk to her. But the Japanese press, for the most part, have ignored her. They don't want to talk to her. They don't want to admit she exists. They just keep very silent. They just don't approach her for interviews or anything like that. A few Japanese media's outlets do, but for the most part, they don't. So it seems the Japanese media's approach to this and the way they're going to handle it is to ignore it. Act like this is a fluke. And next year we'll get a proper Japanese woman so we can objectify her on an international level and prove just how beautiful Japanese women are. So I want to hear what you think about this. What's going on with this uh, Miss Universe Japan thing. Please leave your comments in the comment box below. If the first time you see me, please subscribe. If you really like this, this uh, video, like it, spread it around. And until next time, this is me, John Doe in Tokyo. Check it out.